CSV stands for Comma Separated Values. It's a file format used to store tabular data. You can think of it as a spreadsheet in text-only form. At SuperAI, we offer CSV as an option for you to submit data points in large numbers. A CSV file comprises rows of text. The first row contains the headings of each column. Headings are basically field names, and each heading is separated by a comma. Every new row following the header row uses comma-separated values that match the order of the headings. And that's about all there is to it. You can use just about any spreadsheet program to make a CSV file. I'm going to show you how to do it using Google Sheets as it's free and uh, easily accessible. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download a sample CSV file for our project so we know how to structure our CSV. And to do that you need to open your project in the dashboard, head to the upload data screen, choose via CSV, and here there is an option to download a sample CSV. So we click that, and then we can return to Google Sheets, which has an option to import files. So we're going to head to File, Import, and then we're going to select Upload here at the top, and drag and drop the CSV file that we just downloaded. On this settings screen, you don't need to change anything, we can just import data. And here we see the sample CSV, so column A here is our input data. This column header cannot be changed. However, all the columns to the right, so column B on, are optional extra data columns. You can add any headers you want here, and order is arbitrary. I'm going to use the information from the previous example, so I'm going to add in lead actor and release here, and I'm going to keep an ID column at the end. Then I'm going to paste in my data, split it into columns, uh, add, in, add some IDs. Any information we put in the extra data columns, we will retrieve that information whenever we download our data points from the dashboard. So the next thing we need to do is to download this as a CSV. So we head to File, Download, and choose Comma Separated Values here. Once we've done that, we can return to the dashboard and simply drag and drop our CSV file and submit the data points for processing. So these will shortly appear and they are now in progress and being labeled.